Welcome to the first installment of Heating Up here on Shaw TV. Each week we highlight UBC Okanagan Heat Athletics. My name is Ryan Waters and this week we are talking soccer with women's player and goaltender Christine Tallon, men's midfielder Manny Straith. And Christine, let's talk about uh, soccer so far this season. Only a couple weeks into classes, but you've already played four games. Both teams have played four games. You're 3-0-1. Oh, the outlook coming into this season was what? Uh, positive. We have a very strong team this year. A lot of new players coming in, but talented enough, strong enough, determined enough to get the job done as if they were already veteran players. Th and this team is coming off a pretty good run, if you will, and last year uh, a silver medal at the, the Provincials. So you say a bunch of new players. How long do you think it will take players to gel, becoming a, a now a new member of the Heat? And on the men's side, you guys uh, came off a, a bit of a struggling year, but you've started well out of the gate, 2-1-1. One, and one. What have you seen from the club so far? Uh, it's been good. A lot, of our, a lot of our core's back. A lot of the core starters and our rookies that have come in, they proved early that they could score goals or, um, up front. And, uh, yeah, they got some good goals in preseason and have been good impacts of the first couple games and had some good wins, a tough loss against VIU, but... Handful of veterans, nine rookies on this team. You're a veteran, you're a third guy in. Does it fuel your fire after last year, struggling a little bit, coming into this year, saying, okay, we want to play a, a little bit better this year? Yeah, expectations were high last year, and with Dante, they'll always be high. But I feel this year, we've kind of started to feel, fulfill them already, first couple games, and hopefully we can continue that and kill all five for the B season and hopefully the Nationals. So. Do you guys feel this is kind of an end of an era? This is the last season for Heat Soccer in the Pac West division. You've been part of Pac West forever and moving to the CIS and Canada West next uh, year. Do you feel like it's an end of an era? Definitely. I think it's the end of an era, but it's an exciting step forward. Looking to progress the program, test ourselves, see how we match up against the top CIS schools. You mentioned Dante, head coach. Expectations are always high, but coming into this year, where it is the final year of Pac West, is there a little extra incentive on the men's side? Yeah, I, I think it's like a not exactly end of an era, but a start of a new one because expectations that we can all compete in CIS. Um, a lot of us have played against players who play in the CIS, and we like to compare ourselves to the same level as them. So is, we can hopefully finish this season strong, so we can step into the CIS and not be a step behind. I always find it interesting that student athletes in university kids, course loads are so big, you're in your fourth year, you're in your third year. How is it juggling school and, and playing? It's quite the balancing act, for sure. Trying to manage your time around practice, around classes, doing the extra studying you need to do to get the grades you need to get. It's a lot of effort to try and make it all work, but in the end it's worth it. And challenging? Yeah, it's, I mean, not a lot of free time, obviously, but it, it's what, we, what we're here for, so. It's nice to be around people all the time, and it's, yeah, it keeps you busy. Teammates pushing you, too. Yeah, exactly. No doubt about that. Guys, thanks for doing this. Good luck this weekend. Man and Christine, they're part of the men's and women's heat soccer teams. They are on the road this weekend. For more information, you can always log on to goheat.ca. For Heating Up here on SHOT TV, my name is Ryan Waters.